Hi, I'm Christopher Moore. I'm the Assistant Superintendent of the El Dorado Union High School District for Educational Services. And this project, launching the Virtual Academy for Shenandoah, is one of the most exciting um, projects I've been involved in in education. The Virtual Academy is an online, comprehensive program that provides a, an individualized and rigorous approach to education. What makes this project so special to me is that families are looking for options in education and we feel that we're providing them with an outstanding college preparatory virtual academy. And I know uh, there are some families that are looking for different uh, types of programs and we feel this program is robust, it's rigorous, it uses the latest technology uh, to reach out to families and it is, it's connected and, and individualized for, to meet each student's learning needs. We need a learning management system to make what we do a lot more efficient. Students will access their curriculum through an innovative learning management system called desire to learn And from that, families are going to be able to access uh, their classes, um, additional information about what's happening in the school. The advantage is that I can be in contact with my students 24-7. There's going to be video um, uh, portals, there will be um, uh, postings for blogs. So we can mold that program in to fit our curriculum. How can I say whiz banged it? The Virtual Academy has tailored desire to learn to meet our needs. At this point in time, we are using the quality curriculum that is found in Apex Learning and making sure that it matches our district curriculum and course of study, and then also enhancing it with incredible videos and learning opportunities for students. Our online course material will be supported by Apex. Apex is a California approved program that adheres to the California state standards. It's a very, very extraordinary system for keeping a group together and growing with them through the learning process. It really is. So this is not you just work at home in isolation without support. The concept is that the teacher is there to be your facilitator, your mentor, your tutor. This is the best of both worlds. Just everything's different. If you didn't like the old ways you could be taught, then you could try this school. Because I really wanted to accelerate my learning. For me, the traditional school system wasn't working for me. I kept getting bad grades. My grades are slipping. I think we all would agree that one size does not fit all in education. So this school has been a huge influence on her. And she's now an honor student down at Sac State. She wants to be a writer, and everything this school did for her was to support that goal, that endeavor, that passion. It's been a huge, the school's been a huge impact for her. Student advisory meetings are held weekly with several purposes in mind. The first is to ensure that there's a strong relationship between the student and their advisor. And the second, most important one, is to ensure that there's a strong relationship with their peer group. This is the precursor to the study group that many of us are familiar with that occurs at the college level. So I understand you had some questions on the history project last night. So let's go ahead and Skype Tara to get some answers. Hey Tara, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. We just have a few kids here with some questions about your uh, history assignment. Okay, perfect. So you'll see on here um, basically what the kids are going to do. Either they already have a partner or they can, they can get a partner. So if you look below, it says some groups you might, cons you might consider to honor in bold. Then what they need to do is come up with an essential question. And then they research that question and present it to the class. Great. We'll go ahead and watch that video right now. Thanks for your help. We're hoping that parents take advantage of the opportunity to use Skype to conference with their students' advisors. This is a wonderful chance for them to get updates on their students' achievement, as well as to ask pertinent questions about students' plans for the future. So, working with advisors here has been really good. And uh, the reason for that is a lot of times I'll need help with uh, like one little thing out of a project or whatever. So I'll, I'll be able to sit down with my advisor and go, okay, you know, this is what I want to do. Maybe give me some ideas or give me some pointers or something like that. And uh, it's been really helpful. So. To ensure that students are ready for college experiences, we're offering a variety of AP or advanced placement courses. In fact, there are 14 courses that we're currently offering and we are working on expanding that offering. 
those AP courses allow students to not only earn college credit after taking an exam to prove their level of understanding, but they offer students an experience that is hard to duplicate. One of the questions I'm frequently asked by parents is how will this program prepare their student for college? Mm -hmm. And I you know, feel very confident in saying that this is an outstanding program for college preparation. The reason why is that we have a full menu of advanced placement courses, advanced uh, educational opportunities that students can take advantage of. For example, uh, Folsom Lake College is an outstanding community college right in our backyard, and you can have concurrent enrollment while you're at the virtual academy taking up to two classes per semester once you're 16 years of age. The other thing is students, because they're able to uh, select their schedules and map out their four-year plan, they can actually end up, if they're, if they're highly motivated, uh, actually taking more classes than they would traditionally be able to take at a comprehensive site. So for the gifted or the advanced learner, that, that, that self-motivated, you know, intrinsic learner, mm -hmm. uh, this program really provides them with an opportunity to accelerate. Students would want to take AP courses for many reasons. One, it'll help them get into UCs because all the UCs are looking for AP courses. It'll allow them to achieve things like 5.0 A's, which will give them a better GPA and make them more competitive for the UCs. But in addition, if they score a 4 or a 5 on the AP exams, those classes will count for college credit, which means the parents will not have to pay for those introductory level courses. The AP courses and the curriculum that is developed for AP courses provide students with that one-time opportunity to experience college without actually going to college. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for students. All the teachers at the Virtual Academy at Shenandoah are not only AP certified, but highly qualified in their subject areas. We offer one-on-one -on -one or small group support for preparation for AP exams. During APEX, they have the key terms in the text that you're reading. So you can scroll over with your mouse and it'll give you the definition right there, right in front of you. They have online quizzes and they have online readings for the section in the chapter. They also have study sheets that help you focus on the main points of the certain section. Using APEX Learning to provide a quality experience for students at the Virtual Academy will allow us to meet the needs of all levels of students. We will be providing what's called a literacy advantage approach, which is for students that are struggling somewhat with reading at the grade level. We're providing a core approach, which allows students who are at the grade level to succeed. We also will prov be providing an honors approach, which will allow students who are looking for that little extra but aren't necessarily ready for an advanced placement course. And then, of course, we'll offer advanced placement classes, as we previously mentioned. We are a public high school, and we're part of the Eldorado Union High School District. The same rules apply to us that apply to any other high school in the district, and any student that has an IEP is welcome to apply, and it always goes back to least restrictive environment. And all decisions are always part of an IEP team decision and we welcome all students and provide help for all students. So students in our program can receive one-on-one -on -one help as needed and they can actually receive attention pretty quickly. They can email me, they can Skype in, they can give me a phone call and we can work out whatever problems we need and through our Desire to Learn website we're going to be able to do some uh, discussions back and forth and they'll be able to work in small groups that way as well so they can contact their peers if they have a question but it's, I feel it's real important for students needs to be met immediately and the sooner we can get questions answered the faster students can get back on track and be able to feel comfortable and move on with their their studies. When a student approaches their senior year one of the things that's very important to students and families is, is guidance counseling. I mean, are there, are, do they understand what opportunities are available to them after high school? The Virtual Academy is certified by WASC, the Western Association of Schools and Colleges, as well as by the California Charter of Schools Association. This is indeed an honor because there is criteria that must be met for each organization. And by having this certification, students know that their experience with us 
will transfer directly to four-year schools that they're interested in. An important aspect of the program that the Virtual Academy will be offering students is a blended 4x4 schedule. The 4x4 schedule was developed by colleges and universities to ensure that students could meet their graduation requirements in a timely fashion. High schools have adopted that approach to ensure that students are prepared for their college experience. Our plan is to offer students the opportunity to try the 4x4 approach as well as to offer year-long courses to ensure that they also meet graduation requirements. That is the really cool thing about this school too is that the kids after um, their, their junior and senior year get to take college classes over at Folsom Lake College. So they have kind of a, a free ticket in, if you will. So as they approach their senior year, and they've been mapping out their four-year academic plan, we'll be able to assess where they are at educationally and what options do they have. If they've completed the Cal State University entrance requirements, we have a guaranteed acceptance program with Sacramento State. Now you still have to go through the, the, course, the course sequence, but if you've completed that course sequence, you know, you have guaranteed acceptance uh, under an MOU we have with them to start a four-year college right off the bat. If you are transitioning to Folsom Lake, well, hopefully you've already taken at least one class at Folsom Lake while you're here, so that'll be a smoother transition. Like we're actually using the same software and same portal uh, that they would experience there. Students who have experience and have been successful in a virtual environment, I think, have an edge mm -hmm. over their counterparts that have only been in a traditional brick and mortar setting. Excellent. Before, before I started doing the internship, I didn't know much about HTML coding. The main thing that I've learned to develop is um, I know how to take apart virtually anything. You know, through the process of seeing and doing. It's really cool, we've taken apart uh, PlayStation, Xboxes, computers, servers. I have been able to learn a lot about HTML. Well, it's helped me a lot because I pretty much already have a job. So. I get to experience what it is what has to happen to make a website. And I always know what I want to do first. I want to become a writer when I grow up and I intern at the Windfall. Internships are a great place for uh, kids to really build the resume. Oftentimes kids leave and we, we've asked them, all along they're building a resume, but oftentimes they say, well, I, I have never really had a job. And we remind them, no, those internships are actual jobs. It's an awesome leg up on what I want to do for a career. I would always fix computers at home and that kind of thing. So it allows me to learn a lot more because of me not giving up. It's very exciting. It gets you really used to what it's like. They're, very, they're really enriching experiences. One of the things they did is they started offering a computer repair because I knew how to do computer repair. The biggest thing that I think Samantha took from the school is the internship program which was absolutely huge for her, to be able to go out into the community two days a week and to study things that she wanted to study, to study with people and, and different um, opportunities that she was excited about was absolutely um, amazing for her and that's not something that most students ever get to do. As an individual, I'd say I've grown a lot. Freshman year, I was kind of quiet and not that all outgoing. The school allowed me to be myself. I have kind of grown stronger in my personality. She was a completely different person a completely evolved person in that capacity. So it's a very cool opportunity to see. As a parent, it's very exciting to see your child grow from that person that's, you know, so tentative and not quite sure and, you know, to go from that to being this very confident, very competent person. That just scatters your acorns as a parent. <laughs> it does. I'm telling you. It's perfect.